Boom. Welcome, everybody. Thank you so much. Welcome, speakers, presenters, sponsors, and volunteers. This is Latasha Jimerson, also known as LT, the Buddy Teacher. Tonight, we are going to talk about the Teacher Summit. This is an interest meeting for anybody that's interested in helping me. Today is January 10th, 2021, and it is 5 o'clock Pacific time, and it is a Sunday. All right, so a couple of things to consider, and I'm gonna ask everybody at the end to kind of share for two or three minutes, um, what is it that you think you'll be able to do in order to help us promote the event? Um, how many people are in your audience? Just like a rough estimate of who, who do you know um, in your social media, on your email list? And would you like your session to be pre-recorded or live? I prefer live interaction, but some people um, might want to do pre-recorded. So just kind of keep that in mind and let me know at the end. Um, what is your availability? Usually I do my podcast on Sunday nights and I normally don't do anything else. So Sundays are pretty good for me to talk and just kind of catch up. All right, so when we think of teachers, we don't usually think of lots of money. Um, and so we have an issue where there are teachers that are struggling. Some teachers are having to work two or three jobs just to make ends meet. And so this part of this summit is gonna be about educating teachers about different uh, side hustles that they can do. Of course, my background is in self-publishing. So I am always preaching the sermon that you need to have book products. You need to have eBooks. You need to have paperbacks. You need to have audiobooks. Like that's my whole... Uh, platform that I'm preaching on. So you will hear me talk about that a lot. But I also want teachers to hear from other professionals that are making money in different ways, providing a legacy for their family, and allowing them possibly to retire early. We always talk about retire early. What does that mean? It means time freedom, even more than money. It means you don't have to clock in anywhere if you don't want to. You can go up to a classroom and volunteer because you have the time and you don't have to be stressed about the money. That's what we want our teachers to be able to have opportunities to be um, more free and to have a flexible lifestyle and not be chained down to the classroom. So that is what this summit is all about. Um, this is one of the titles that I came up with and this is still a work in progress. So Teacher to Boss Summit, Self-Publish Your Way to Six Figures. Yes, that is possible. Yes, there are avenues. Yes, there's technology. And yes, there is a way. But a lot of teachers don't know this. A lot of people in general don't know this. So this information is going to be powerful for, for teachers. All right. So when you think of a uh, boss teacher, I want you to think of a strong teacher, a healthy teacher, a confident teacher who is able to go into the classroom and just crush it. Like this teacher exudes confidence, positive energy, enthusiasm. This is the teacher that we want in front of our children. I don't know about you, but I got three daughters and I want their teachers to stand tall and be confident and give them the knowledge that they need to be successful. I also want their teachers not to be worried about money. I want them to be uh, completely self-sufficient completely independently wealthy. And a lot of people, when they think of the word teacher, they do not think of the word wealthy. So we're gonna change that right now in 2021. All right, so this is me in 2007. I had a complete nervous breakdown. That was literally my fourth year teaching. I was hospitalized and put on medication for the rest of my life. My problem was work and do stress poor diet, lack of exercise, failure to establish healthy boundaries. In 2016, I was able to get some therapy and I was able to self-publish during my downtime. I ended up having two separate surgeries that summer. Um, I had to take a couple months off work. I had nothing to do except for write and read and self-publish. So that was like the turning point in my life. That was the year that everything came together for me. So today I speak to groups all over the world about the power of self-publishing. The writing process for me was a beautiful journey of self-expression. And I always tell people that my struggles liberated me and they uh, helped me to become the confident person that I am today. 
So that's me, Latasha L.T. Jimerson, also known as the Buddy Teacher. I nicknamed myself the Buddy Teacher because I had a principal named Mr. John Black, and he used to call me L.T. And I thought it was just so cool. So I took L.T., and then later on, as I progressed in my career, I decided to become my own Buddy Teacher. So I took on the nickname, the Buddy Teacher, because I really struggled with depression. I struggled with anxiety. I struggled with suicidal thoughts. And I didn't want to tell anybody what was going on because of my ego and my pride. So I created a person who was my coach, who was somebody who was courageous and brave. And her name was LT, the Buddy Teacher. So that's who I am today. I'm an author, coach, teacher, and speaker also course creator and university founder. Um, so this is my logo on the left. It's LT for Latasha, coaching and educational services. And I am all about books. I love books. I read books. I write books. I eat books for breakfast. Literally like this morning at 7 a.m., I was up with a client and we were finishing her ebook and I hadn't even had breakfast yet. So that's why I tell people I eat books for breakfast. When I go to bed, I'm thinking about my next book. When I wake up, I'm working on somebody's book. Yeah, it's pretty ridiculous. Okay, in the chat, tell me what you're looking forward to most in this teacher summit. All right, we got one comment in the chat. All right, sharing a message of empowerment, yes. To inspire these teachers and uplift them, absolutely. So my original thought was 10, a 10 speaker panel, 200 teachers and five breakout rooms. So I was also thinking April 1st, April Fool's Day, so nobody would forget. Um, but I ended up getting a summit coach, a person who does summits every year. And we were brainstorming and we've kind of moved the idea around a little bit. So um, it's still going to be 10 speakers. It's still going to be 200 teachers. But we're trying to figure out what would be the best way to do the breakout room. So that might change a little bit. Um, you will see... There's a couple of speakers there on the graphic. This is probably going to change as I add more speakers. Um, but this is just, I wanted you to see how I do things with my social media. Everything is about graphics. Everything is about visuals. Um, and so this is one of the ways that I promote all of my webinars, workshops, any kind of events that I do. I always have some type of a, a graphic. So you just get used to having, uh, getting emails from me with graphics and let me know if I put your image on anything and you don't approve, let me know right away. I wait until I hear from everybody before I start posting on social media because I wanna make sure everybody feels comfortable. All right, so let's see what else do we, we have something in the chat. What does it say? It says, is 200 teachers the goal audience? Would it be a bad thing if, if we got more? Oh, no, that's my minimum. Like literally in my circle, I know 200 teachers that would come. So if you know teachers, I mean, we could explode this thing to a thousand. It's okay with me. The summit we just came from had 3,000 registered and every single day there were three to 400 people on. So that's just a minimum. Okay, so... This week, I'm going to be interviewing and talking to more speakers um, from the 9th, which was yesterday, all the way up to the 15th. I'm going to put together a contract tonight, which will have all of our ideas in it. Um, what do you think? You know, do you agree to this? Do you agree to that? To that? I think that everything should be in writing. Everything should be clear um, before we proceed. So I will make sure I have that contract out either tonight or tomorrow morning. And then I will collect them on January 15th, which is Friday. 
Um, I'm going to continue to interview and add more presenters and speakers as we go through it, the, the um, weeks. But um, pretty much the people who are here tonight, you're pretty much my choice because you guys were a part of that summit. And that's pretty much how I want to run my summit. So you already have a mindset that's in alignment with mine. So if we add extra speakers, no worries. Um, but pretty much you're already on the team. So you're good. I'm going to give you guys some promotional materials on by March 14th. I'm going to create some swag bags. And those are going to go to all the registrants. Um, they're going to go out in the mail by March 15th. So all of my registrants will get their swag bags in March way before the actual summit, because I want them to wear their t-shirts and I want them to put on their swagness and um, promote on social media. All right, so if we need to have more meetings, usually I'm available on Sundays. So these are a couple of dates that I kind of worked out because I'm already working on my podcast anyway. So I will use the same Zoom link, five o'clock Pacific, same bat channel, same bat time, just to keep everything consistent. So if you can make it awesome, if you can't, I'm always gonna record. So just let me know if you need the recording. All right, our big promotion period is gonna be March 21st to April 4th. Literally, this is the two week period when my school district is on uh, spring break. So uh, they're gonna be seeing all kinds of stuff on my social media regarding the summit. So if we all promote it during the same time, we post our stuff on the same days, it's going to be pretty massive. All right. These are the summit days that I'm thinking. I was thinking April 1st, but then um, I was like, no, because it's, it's kind of close to Easter. So what I'll do is I'll do a bonus day for Easter Monday. And then Tuesday will be the actual day one of the summit and then Wednesday, Thursday, and then Friday will be a bonus VIP day. So really the summit is three days, but if teachers want to start early and end late, they have that option. So it'll be a five day, but a three day mandatory. All right, this is how my mind is thinking and I am totally flexible. If you guys have ever run summits before, let me know. If you've ever presented at a summit, let me know. Because I've done a lot of award ceremonies. I've done a lot of assemblies. I've done a lot of large gatherings, two, 300 people, um, but in the school setting. So this will be my first big summit outside of the school setting. So this is kind of what I'm thinking. Registration, panel, session one, break session two, lunch, general assembly, and then a bonus VIP session at the end where the um, participants can literally ask detailed questions and really, really get to know the presenters at the end of the day. So I'm thinking of rotation schedules so that every single teacher will be able to hear every single speaker. So this is kind of my thought process, but if you have an idea that might work better, just let me know. Um, this is flexible. All right, so um, speakers and presenters, what I would love and the way that I teach is I encourage people to move. So even though this is virtual, I still, when I teach my workshops, I have people get up and move around, clap. Um, I have this little sign over here I'll show you guys. Um, show what you know, ask for participation. I always give homework. And I always give activities, hands-on activities to do because nobody wants to sit and listen to somebody talk for six hours and just be sitting there passive. That's not fun. This is interactive, fun, exciting. And I want people to talk about this like this is the best event they've ever gone to in their whole life outside of Beyonce and Chris Brown, okay? That's what I'm going for. Boom. Okay, so fees, I do not plan to pay speakers for this event and I do not plan to charge speakers for this event. What I really need help with from you as a presenter or speaker is promotion, 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 promotion. These are my numbers and I'm gonna be very honest with you. Uh, my social media reach is about 10,000. My email list is 300. 
my Facebook group, I have 110 authors that are also educators. They're in that group. They're active. They're participants. Um, it's not just a group where people hang out. It's a group where people collaborate. I'm a big collaborator, as you can tell. So my Facebook group, that might look like a small number, but they are completely engaged. And that is the type of list that I love to work with people who are engaged. They're motivated. They want to hear what I have to say. Um, they're posting. They're liking my stuff. They're looking for new products. I mean, that's the type of list that I have. So don't let the numbers fool you because the quality is not, is not the quantity. It's the quality. My LinkedIn educator group is 53. These are specific educators um, that are on LinkedIn. Facebook is mostly authors and educators. So again, I'm going to put out a contract that has all this in it. Read it, sign it, give it to me by Friday the 15th, and then I'll put that in a binder and we'll keep on moving. All right, so here's what I'm thinking for charging. I know some summits are free. But for this, I am thinking of charging an admissions ticket and they will get a t-shirt and a required reading. This is a way for me to sell my book, 185 Honeymoon Tips for Teachers, A Guide to Planning for the Big Day, written by Latasha Jimerson. This is a very small, short book, and it tells you how to survive the year of teaching whether you're a first year teacher or a 25 year veteran teacher, that is a required reading. All right, I will also have t-shirts made so that when you show up to the summit, you'll have your t-shirt, you'll have your book and you'll be ready to go. All right, this is what I'm thinking. For um, a book bundle, I have multiple books so I can bundle them. I have um, an idea for a swag bag. Teachers love Starbucks cards. They love school supplies. So I'm thinking um, to bundle and I have three daughters so they can help me bundle and mail all this stuff out. So I won't need help with mailing any of this stuff out. I will just need help promoting the event. Um, this is a bonus gift. This is a book that I wrote to my daughter. So anybody that has teenagers, they're gonna wanna read this book. And this is a book that talks about depression and anxiety. So anybody who's stuck in a rut, they're going to need to read this. So I'll have this as a raffle prize. Um, I want the swag bags to go out by March 15th. So I'm going to be asking for sponsors to donate cash or to set up a vendor booth. And I'm not sure how much I'm going to charge for that, but I want to have raffles with Starbucks cards, school supply, Target, gift cards for dinners. Teachers love gift cards. They love Starbucks. They love Target. So the more we put in that swag bag, the more value they're going to get out of this summit. All right, let's stay connected. Again, there's some people that are not able to make it here. So what I'm going to do I'm going to create a group. Matter of fact, I already created a group on LinkedIn that is only for us as the presenters and the speakers and the volunteers for the teacher summit. So look on your social media tonight and look for the invitation for the group for the teacher summit. All right. So I have a podcast. If you guys are interested, you can go on Anchor FM and listen to my uh, talk of confidence. It's every Sunday night. Tonight, I'm having um, one of my, this is one of my clients. She wrote a paperback book with me. And the paperback book was about her son who was murdered. And she took a break from the paperback because it was too emotional. So she ended up writing four eBooks by herself. She took my course. It was an eight-week course. We did the paper paperback together, but she ended up making all those ebooks on her own, like at midnight, I, I was just blown away. She, she's a phenomenal client and, and professional. And I, I met her on Facebook. I didn't even know her uh, before July, 2020. So talk about making friends through social media. Like 98% of my coaching practice is from people that I meet on social media. It doesn't take me long to make friends, as you can tell. All right, this is Saturday, uh, no, Sunday, January 17th. I have a financial advisor who will be on my podcast. She will also be speaking at the summit about how teachers need to have multiple streams of income and financial planning. So she is in my network. 
Um, this is Stephanie. She's an educator, voice actress, TV anchor woman, a lot of experience in the entertainment business. She is the voice of uh, one of my audiobooks because I am not an audiobook expert. She is. So her and I share royalties on one of the books that we wrote together. I wrote it. She voiced it. She's amazing. You'll hear from her on January 20, 24th um, at my podcast. And this beautiful family, Jesse and Stacey Coleman, they are champion life coaches. They will be on my podcast on Sunday, January 31st at 7 p.m. Pacific, which will be 10 p.m. their time. We might shift that time if that's too late. I'm flexible. But anyway, I cannot wait for people to hear their story and their romance of how they work together and they live together. And that's like so phenomenal to me because me and my husband can barely even like live together, let alone work together. <laughs> so uh, you guys are amazing. And here's another picture. I'm not sure which one you guys want me to use, but let me know tonight and I will fix it. Uh, February 7th, that's actually my birthday. Clifford will be on um, my podcast. So I'm just waiting for him to get back to me on what he wants it to say. Then I have Linda. I met Linda at the Strategic Alliance Summit. She lives in England. So her and I were Zooming the other day and she has a podcast. So she's going to be on my podcast. I'm going to be on her podcast. And hopefully she'll be a presenter at the Teacher Summit. And Mr. John Terry, the Black Belt Leader, he's going to be with me on February 21st on my podcast talking about martial arts leadership and how to build confidence through developing your body, developing your mind, developing all of it. And then I have Angela Duckett on February 28th. She's a Hollywood regular, like she's a pro. She gives me all kinds of inspiration about maybe one day being an actress. I don't know, maybe. And this is Dolores. She's an author, educator, and she's a 15-time marathon runner. She's run 15 marathons. She's a wellness coach, and she's an author. I just helped her write an ebook about uh, wellness, and that was on, uh, or she's going to be with us on March 7th. Boom. Okay, closing remarks. How can you help us promote? How many people are in your audience? Would you like to record your session or go live? What's your availability? How can you support me? And how can I support you? Like literally, that is what I want us to talk about for the rest of our time. It is 523. I'm going to be quiet and let you guys talk. And I'm going to turn this recording off. Thank you so much for joining me.